Yes, one of the venerable rounds of the Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series presented by Maxis. It's the Weisco John Penton GNCC at Sunday Creek. It's a famous motocross track here in Millfield, Ohio. Ohio is the home of John Penton. Here he is right here, the man who originally imported the KTM motorcycle to the United States and really revolutionized how you go riding a dirt bike in the woods. Let's give you your Amsoil race recap of our previous event, a barn burner, the Limestone 100 in Indiana. Great start for Daniel Milner, the Australian, and the NFAB Ampro Yamaha. Little bobble here opens the door for the Johnny Campbell racing Honda of Chris Bach, but it would soon boil down to three men. Bach, see him fighting for it, but Caleb Russell, Thad Duvall, and Josh Strang would get up front, and those three put on an incredible show, and it was as close as it could get down to the end. Strang and Russell passing each other back and forth as they worked their way up and down the hills and through the mud in Indiana. Here it is, coming down the stretch. Russell able to make a pass. Here comes Strang, almost able to find running room to the inside. Can't quite make it happen. And this is how close it was down the stretch. Russell just takes the win. Going to the last lap, I was trying to, I made a couple of passes to get in the lead, and then he passed me right back. And um, coming out into the start finish or the start starting area, we we went by through there the last lap, well every lap, and uh, it was there wasn't a whole lot of passing opportunities. It was pretty fast, but uh, the ground was really slick out there in the uh, the field. So um, I just saw an opening and I, I went for it and he got a little protective with the insides, uh, not wanting me to get up in there and uh, steal the insides away from him. So I was able to just kind of pin it around the outside and kind of surprise him and then uh, hold him off. So it was uh, it was a good day there. At the, it was a good last lap for me, last half a mile anyways, but uh, it was a tough race and um, we'll try to, try to get out front and make life a little easier next time. And here's a man that can make life difficult on him. KR4, Rocky Mountain ATV MC backed. Thad Duvall on a roll as of late. There's his dad, Chad. We can check in with that. Uh, I feel really good. You know, I've uh, been working really hard the last two weeks to uh, work on some things that I struggled with a lot at the last race that uh, didn't let me uh, get the win. But, you know, I worked hard. We did some testing and got the bike even better than what it is. And uh, I'm excited. You know, this is uh, pretty much a hometown race for me. So, um, you know, hopefully today is pretty good. Go out and get, uh, get this win and be up front with those guys again. Yeah, and it is indeed a home race for Duval from West Virginia, just on the other side of the Ohio River. And Caleb Russell literally grew up riding on this property. Just what he needs, more things stacked in his favor, and he's going to get the whole shot, too, on that number one FMF KTM. But he's got Josh Strang right behind him. So maybe a little rematch here. These guys have been beating and banging on each other a bit this season. Russell with three straight championships and Strang, who won the title back in 2010, not taking that one easy. Nice job of the 31. Daniel Milner, a good start, battling it out with Jordan Ashburn, then Stu Baylor here in fifth. Ashburn just able to clear Milner, who makes a bobble, and Baylor gets around him. Everybody else, they're just fighting each other. Look at the bad start for Duvall, and this is dangerous. Caleb Russell, out of all of his strengths as a racer, the starts were never necessarily his specialty, but he has picked up on those last year and then this year, making it that much harder as you see everyone else elbowing for room on the trail. Well, he's able to get out there and fly, and look how difficult it's going to be for Duvall. Take you through this. Off the start, Duvall gets hung up there on the inside. He was probably sixth, and instead he ends up in last as he tangled with Ashburn and the 514 of Stu Baylor. So Russell in the lead, and by the way, it has to be a huge sigh of relief for all these riders, these conditions today. A little bit of dust out here in the open areas, but that's no problem. I'm telling you, I think the first 10 years I came to this race, we either had axle deep mud or extreme dust, and there is no mud worse than Ohio mud. As I always say, it gets slippery on the tires, but somehow sticky on the plastic. And these bikes would be very heavy by the end of the day. You still wouldn't be able to get any traction. But today, look at this stuff. You don't want to get out here on your own bike and rip it up. Perfect weather conditions here just outside of Athens, Ohio. And great racing as well. Jason Thomas in the number eight battling it out with the 22 of Chris Douglas. I mean, look at this pack. You got five riders stacked up on each other just outside the top five. Then you can look at this pack, which is XC2 for the 250s. And you know 
If there's a start in XC2, Craig DeLong is going to grab the whole shot. He has been lights out in that coastal racing. Husqvarna, uh, 250, no! Gets overtaken by the fourth stroke of his teammate, Lane Michael. Now Mike Witowski going to take the lead from both of them. So DeLong led them into the first turn to the whole shot line. It was Michael, and now Witowski's fired up. Takes the lead and pulling away. Now the 4-1-2 of Mark Horesco going to block pass Michael and get by him. I don't even need to give the standard, these are young up and coming kids description this week. They just let you know that. You can see the youthful exuberance there in XC2. Nowhere to be found, by the way, your points leader and dominator, the number 10. Trevor Bollinger, he does not usually get good starts on the Honda. And he's about halfway through this pack. We see this every week and then somehow by the end, he's in the lead. And that's not crazy for GNCC Racing, it's just when you're dealing with Caleb Russell in XC1, he gets to start, you're in trouble. Strang gets to start, you're in trouble. But these kids, as you saw the first couple of turns, they are not afraid to throw elbows, they can get aggressive, they can make passes, and they'll also make mistakes that allows people to make up ground. There was Bollinger, I just saw him come through about seventh place. And the XC2 riders enjoying these conditions, I'm sure, as well. And further along we go. Russell continuing to lead in XC1. Big downhill here. Ohio is not known for its hills, but you get out here in Southern Ohio and this track has got it all. It's got hills, it's got uh, a variety of soil conditions and a great motocross track here as well. So it's really gonna put the riders to the test. But Russell riding this property like it's his own backyard. And in some way it is, his grandfather actually owns the land. So he's definitely familiar with this terrain. Strang getting to the top of the hill and look at how shiny that dirt is. That is like riding on ice. And Strang got to the top as if it was glue. Sticking to the track, no problem. Baylor looking good. Third place now on the SRT KTM. And here's Russell, another uphill. Oh, not the prettiest, but he bounced his way through. And you can see he's in a hurry right now. Doesn't want Strang to get a look at him. Here's Strang in second. Rockstar Husqvarna. And look at Ashburn. Nice drive to the top of the hill on the Westfield Power Sports Moose Racing KTM. And Daniel Milner in fourth of the NFAB and Pro Yamaha. Good to see the Australian back up there. Baylor must have made a mistake. He's back to fifth. And Chris Bach in the factory. Johnny Campbell racing. Russell Bobbitt right behind him. And this is Corey Buttrick, yet another native of this neck of the woods in Ohio. Corey B, 121, up inside the top 10. And rounding out the top 10 is Duval. And you hear the crowd yelling. He's got a lot of fans in these woods. Grant Baylor coming through next. Jason Thomas through. Just getting started here at the Penton. When it comes to guarding your engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance enthusiast demand. Amsoil provides 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard, extending the life of pistons and cams. Give the vehicle you love the above and beyond protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. Here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, our goal has always been to get you the best price and provide quality service. Now, we're giving you one more reason to shop with Rocky Mountain. We call it Quick Cash. It's simple to get. Just place an order with a qualifying quick cash item and get cash to spend on your next order. Try it out today. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Maxis Tires. The Andersons discovered life is easier with an Outlaw RV. The Outlaw is a complete home on wheels with a multifunctional garage. Getting on the road has never been quicker. The Outlaw is made to fit the lifestyle of today's active families. So stop roughing it and start enjoying your weekends. 
find the Thor Motor Coach Outlaw that fits your needs at GarageRVs.com today. At Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we want to help increase rider participation at your next race, rally, or club event with our free Race Gas program. Join Race Gas and every rider that signs up for your event or club gets a free $10 gift card to Rocky Mountain ATV MC. It's that simple. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Emsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Get ready. And by Maxxis Tires. Keeps you riding to your maximum potential. New leader here at the John Penton GNCC. It's not Josh Strang, who you'd expect to bring a challenge to Caleb Russell. It's Jordan Ashburn, KTM privateer. Best race of the year for him. Russell has made a mistake. He's gone back to third. Chris Bach also one to watch. He has moved up into fourth place. And every one of these guys all the way there, Ricky Russell in sixth, they're all in contention. So a mistake for Russell has opened the door for everyone else. And Corey Buttrick, who is ninth, now up to seventh. Russell Bobbitt, oh, he's got to deal with Thad Duval, who's got to be in a hurry right now. You got to be careful. This is so slippery riding through these creek sections. But uh, Duval, he doesn't want to be top 10. He wants to go for the victory today. And for that matter, so is just Josh Strang. Yeah, I don't know. Last weekend, I just caught the flu or something like that. So uh, just a little, been under the weather all week. So I spent a couple of days in bed this week instead of uh, riding and training. So. Uh, uh, not the best prep for, the, for a weekend like this. It's uh, it's it's going to be hot. Well, Strang's certainly in the hunt, but he and everyone else having to deal with Jordan Ashburn, the long, lanky kid out of Tennessee, getting it done right now. Russell has passed Strang, take over second. Chris Bach up to third. So Strang must have made a mistake. He's back to fourth. Should be able to round that gap back up though and maybe have a four rider battle for the number one spot let's see what Ashburn can do with it now he's got to deal with serious pressure Caleb Russell is right there I mean right there in the roost zone through the trees and Chris Bach making that factory Honda CRF 450 look good following them through and then it's Strang so something about Ashburn seems to bring out the best in Bach and vice versa these two have been battling each other since all the way back in their amateur days in the open A class. And they always seem to be in lockstep. One is a good race, the other guy's right there to battle. If they both have bad races, you'll see them battling still, even if it's for 10th. But today, they're sandwiching Caleb Russell in a fight for the lead. Next up is Ricky Russell. No relation, relation sorry, to uh, Caleb. Good job on the uh, Suzuki. And then Stuart Baylor comes through next. Milner losing a little bit of ground. Then I believe it's Buttrick. And Duvall not exactly going through the pack. He's picking them off one by one, but well, he had his opportunity where Russell made the mistake and went back. Now Russell has retaken the lead, and now it's going to be tough on everybody. Let's see if Ashburn, Bach, and Strang can keep pace. That was, I think, the one chance Duvall maybe had today that uh, – Caleb Russell was going to get stuck back there in this group, but he quickly made up ground, has retaken the lead. Strang and everyone else are going to have to put in a run. They've got to get Russell back. Oh, and now Bach has bike problems. And he was right there battling for a podium today, and it looks like the chain is off of that motorcycle. Luckily, he was close enough to the pit to get it in, because the pro riders have to work on their bikes in the pro pit area. They can't work on them in the woods. He'll have to go back out to the track where he left it. So now it's up to Ashburn to try to challenge Russell. They've got a little gap over Strang right now, and Bach is out of it. There's the bulge pile whoops that are a bit of a trademark obstacle here at the John Penton GNCC. Russell negotiates that. Gets the KTM 350 XCF all the way to the top of the rev range. Same bike, by the way. Ashburn riding at KTM 350, although not uh, quite factory prepped uh, like Russell. But you'd be surprised. In this game, it's not like Supercross and Motocross. The bikes don't make uh, as big a difference, and they don't actually have as much trick stuff on them as you'd see in the Supercross game. They're still working on box bike, and Russell has come through the pits. 
going to put uh, Bach about half a lap down. Look at Ashburn, man. He is still digging. And Bach, by the way, when they finally get that bike fixed, they're still working on it. Again, he'll have to go back to the track where he left, so he's lost a ton of ground. Strang still in the hunt in the number three spot. Big drop down. The way this place is set up, you've got flat ground. Essentially, it's a motocross track. It has a slight tilt to it, as you can see, which is really cool. It allows for a good vantage point for spectators. But then at the top of the hill, it gets really steep, and that's where the woods begin. So it's all laid out in front of the riders. There's a start with the motocross track, and then all the woods and trails up top. And Russell is trying to negotiate the motocross track as best he can while holding the lead. When it comes to protecting your engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance truck owners demand. Amsoil provides 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard, extending the life of pistons and cams. Give the vehicle you love the above and beyond fortification it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. CST Tires. As riders and racers, we understand the need to get quality parts, apparel, and accessories fast. We have the horsepower of multiple warehouses to make sure your gear, OEM parts, or accessories make it to your door quickly. Check out our easy to use website and experience customer service that takes the whole shot. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. You smell it, you feel it, you can right. taste it in the air. Speed, man. Full wide open. Blast. I don't really like high school too much. Too booky, too take notes, learn this, and that's it. Yeah, wow, I'll take that full size motorcycle. The feeling of taking them apart every day, putting them back together. Woo! Can't explain it. Everything I learned applies to now. Seeing your motorcycle that you put together right around the track at 180 miles an hour. Oh, definitely rewarding. My name is Mike. My school's Wyotech. Get on the fast track to a career. Turn pro at Wyotech. When it comes to guarding your engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance enthusiast demand. Amsoil provides 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard, extending the life of pistons and cams. Give the vehicle you love the above and beyond protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. Maxis Tires. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATVMC. Get ready. And by Maxis Tires. Keeps you riding to your maximum potential. Caleb Russell continues to lead on terrain that his grandfather owns the Sunday Creek Motocross Track, the John Penton GNCC. And this could be five straight race wins for him. Started the year off a little off the pace by his standards. Still was on the podium, but it was coming off of a torn ACL last year. And by round three, got the victory, and he has not been headed since. Josh Strang has taken over second, trying to score as many points as he can today, getting around Jordan Ashburn. He's ridden a great race and even gave Russell a challenge about halfway through this. But down the stretch, Caleb Russell in control and styling across the motocross track. Yes, five straight victories and starting to pull back away the points. Caleb Russell wins the John Penton GNCC.
Strang not quite at his best today with the illness, but second place, not bad. And he just continues to keep pressure on Caleb Russell. If there's any mistakes for the points leader, Strang is going to be the one there trying to make up the ground. And you look at the results, Ashburn had mechanical problems of his own at the end, so he and Bach end up close together as usual. Dad Duvall steals a podium, here's your winner. Caleb, a big win here at the 2016 John Penton GNCC. You got the whole shot somewhere around the two and a half, three mile marker. Uh, must have got away from you. You come out a little bit dirty in third place, but in no time worked your way back in the lead. Tell us about that incident. Yeah, I was. Um, I felt really good at the beginning. I was just trying to sprint away and put the hammer down, but um, I blew a freaking turn and and it was a it was a sharp left hand turn. There was a rock ledge at the top, and I hit the rock and I just slid out right straight out in the woods, and I was going downhill, so I, my bike got clogged up in some trees and stuff those guys got around me and then um you know by the time uh by the time i got back around them i kind of like already settled into like a, a slower pace than what i was going so i just kind of um i put another little charge on to get away from them and, and then i just maintained that and then i seen josh was trying to come so i put another sprint in the last couple laps and uh you know made sure i was gonna get the get the job done today Here's our Amsoil race recap. Hat tip to our man Megawatt handling the finish line interviews. Yep, just like Megawatt said, whole shot for Russell. That looked like bad news for everyone else. But he would make an early mistake, and Jordan Ashburn would take advantage, getting around Strang and Caleb Russell to take the lead. Great riding all day for Ashburn. Unfortunately, some mechanical troubles. He could not finish it off and ends up ninth. Here is the battle. Ashburn leading. Russell catches him. Also, Chris Bach gets in the hunt. But then Bach would have his own mechanical problems when the chain breaks on his Honda. So scratch him from this one. And as the kids had their problems, Caleb Russell works his way into a larger and larger lead. There's Ashburn trying to keep up with him. And the problems for Bach. They get the bike fixed, he salvaged 10th, but no one able to see Russell at the finish line. Five in a row for him.